Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Serbian American Leadership Conference Fireside Chat. My name is Nevena Simic, and I am the VP of Membership here at Serbian American Leadership Conference. I have the honor and pleasure of conducting today's interview with our esteemed guest. This is one of several discussions we will have over the next few weeks. We chose to speak with prominent members of the Serbian American community, cultural and political life. They will share their views, ideas, and advice through these discussions with us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you, the viewers, for tuning in and joining us for this special occasion. Today, we have the distinct honor and privilege to welcome Dr. Vladimir Marinkovic, the Deputy Speaker of the Serbian National Assembly and the President of the Congress of Serbian American Friendship. But before we start our discussion, with Dr. Marinkovic, I would like to introduce the president of Serbian American Leadership Conference, Mr. Aleksandar Djuricic. Alex. Thank you, Nevena. First, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Marinkovic, for joining SELC and the Serbian American community today. I hope you and our brothers and sisters in Serbia are safe and well. It seems that the measures in response to COVID-19 are being eased in Serbia as they are in some states in America. So I pray that we have all seen the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic. I'd also like to quickly thank Mr. David Vujic of the Apollo program Serbo 7, who I believe is watching live uh, for informing me about you. In the last couple of months, I've had the pleasure of getting to know you, Dr. Marinkovic, and it is an honor to have you as a guest on SALC's leadership series. You are the first member of the Serbian National Assembly to join us. And quite honestly, I could not think of a better person to have on first. In Serbia, you are one of the leading promoters of improving relations between Serbia and the United States of America. As one of the founders of the Serbian American Friendship, Con Friendship Congress, your dedication is critical to Serbia's future as we seek to restore the historic alliance between the Serbian and American people. The diaspora in America can only do so much. We need the people of Serbia to do their part in strengthening the relationship between our two countries. As Serbs, we all understand that there was a challenging period for us, but that does not mean that the future must also be challenging. Let us remember the words of U.S. Secretary of State Robert Lansing, who reminded us on what was officially declared Serbia Day on July 28, 1918, that the principles for which Serbia has nobly fought and suffered are those for which the United States is fighting. Therefore, analyzing its entirety, the relationship between Serbia and America is one of friendship, respect, and shared values. It is in our interest as Serbs to promote the bond between the U.S. and Serbia so that we can ensure that the future for the Serbian people is bright and prosperous. With that being said, Dr. Marinkovic, please keep up the great work you are doing to promote that bond with the Serbian American Friendship Congress and the Leadership Academy. We look forward to you sharing your work with the Serbian American community. Nevena. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Dr. Marinkovic, again for joining us today. Uh, I guess I would like to start this discussion by asking you to tell us a little bit more about yourself, your professional background, your career, and more, most importantly, your path to the position of Deputy Speaker of the Serbian National Assembly. So, first of all, uh, Nevena and Alex, thank you very much indeed. It's a great honor to uh, join you and Serbian American Leadership Congress and uh, Serbian diaspora in United States uh, to join you in uh, this uh, fireside uh, chat and to have opportunity to speak and discuss uh, very, very important uh, issues as a Serbian uh, American uh, uh, relationship and uh, how to uh, improve relationship together. Uh, you as uh, representatives of our diaspora and uh, people who are very important in process uh, uh, in process of improving of relationship between United States and uh, our country. As you know, in last few years, we made a lot of a lot of efforts to uh, build uh, much better relationships and cooperation between our two nations and uh, our two countries. And of course, uh, we made uh, a lot of success, especially in uh, the field of political cooperation in the economy cooperation. Uh, I think, uh, first of all, that uh, it's a great honor for me that I am the 
first uh, member of par Serbian parliament uh, that have opportunity to, to join you and discuss uh, very important issues for, uh, uh, for our diaspora, for uh, Republic of Serbia, and of course uh, to discuss uh, how to uh, improve in relationships together because uh, uh, we made a lot of efforts here from uh, Republic of Serbia, all of our institutions. President of Republic, of course, uh, President Vucic, uh, government of Serbia, uh, parliament, political parties, uh, politicians, but uh, it is very, very important to making closer ties with uh, you guys and uh, representatives of our, our diaspora to have much more successes uh, about building uh, relationship between uh, two nations in and, and two countries. Uh, I am the in the, in the second term, I am the deputy speaker of the Serbian Parliament. I am the, it is my third term in uh, uh, Parliament. I am here almost uh, eight years, serving uh, as an MP from uh, capital from uh, from Belgrade. And my background is first of all uh, in uh, business, small and medium enterprises. Uh, I was a secretary general of Association of Industrialists and Entrepreneurs of Republic of Serbia. After that, I uh, started my career in uh, uh, university and uh, in the field of economy, in the field of management and in the field of uh, uh, human resource uh, uh, management. And of course, committed, very committed to work with uh, young people, uh, with the Serbian youth about uh, main issues for our country, how to uh, develop and uh, improving our economy how to develop uh, business ambience and business environment in our country, how to uh, change together mindset uh, from uh, our uh, uh, long time socialist and communist uh, heritage here to improve and to encourage uh, entrepreneurship uh, spirit, especially to our young, young people and to be uh, much more competitive uh, uh, to, to our neighbors in uh, and in accordance with the European Union uh, countries. And uh, I am the member of Serbian, uh, Serbian Progressive uh, Party and uh, making make a lot of uh, efforts in our parliament to improve cooperation between uh, United States and uh, Serbia, uh, traveling a lot uh, uh, during this time to United States, to Washington DC and the other cities because uh, uh, most of us in the parliament, in the government, uh, know that, that fact that uh, it's very important for development of our country to making closer ties uh, with United States of America, not only political ties, but uh, economy ties. We are very satisfied about uh, uh, United States uh, government commitment in the region and in Serbia, uh, especially in the field of investments. Uh, uh, we are very, very glad because uh, American companies and American investors uh, recognize Serbia as, as a very good uh, business uh, destination and we have uh, uh, in this uh, moment more than 25,000 employee uh, people who are employed in uh, uh, United States companies and uh, United States investors it's very important uh, for us to have more and more uh, uh, companies from Uni United States of America uh, and we made a lot of successes about attracting the foreign direct investment, especially last four or uh, six years. For example, uh, last year we had uh, more than 3.5 billion of euro from foreign direct uh, investors, but we are from all around the world, from Japan, uh, China, South Korea, through the Middle East, United Arab Emirates, uh, State of Israel, uh, of course, European Union countries as uh, Germany, Italy in the, and other countries. And uh, uh, we are in last few years uh, recognized as a very, very good uh, business destination. We are raised very well uh, 
uh, whole uh, industrial uh, uh, in the, in industries as a touristical industry, uh, producing uh, manufacturing uh, industry, especially producing uh, cars, uh, components, and attracting a lot of investor investors in that field. And of course, it's very important to uh, to say that uh, we made a lot of advances in the field of building infrastructure. In last uh, three years, we built more than 250 kilometers of highways. Uh, we made uh, completely, we are finished uh, networking and uh, make a network of highways uh, through our country. We are finished uh, uh, Corridor 10 and have, uh, of course, uh, highway now through from Belgrade uh, through Skopje, Northern Mace Macedonia to Thessaloniki and Greece. It's very important for trade and for, for business. We are finished uh, the, the highway to Bulgarian, uh, uh, Bulgarian uh, uh, to, to Bulgaria and uh, we are started to build a, a highway uh, through the central and uh, uh, central part of Serbia and want to connect uh, Belgrade capital and uh, western part of Serbia and uh, Montenegro and we made uh, more than uh, uh, 80 kilometers uh, highway uh, Miloš the Great uh, it's very, very important for central and western part of Serbia. And of course, it's very important from US and Serbia relationship that uh, uh, we are starting uh, to building a uh, uh, highway between, uh, uh, between uh, Kruševac uh, in central part of, uh, of Serbia. Uh, to uh, Trstenik, uh, Vrnjačka Banja, uh, Kraljevo in the in the central uh, and western western part of Serbia and making uh, good uh, infrastructure connections of uh, uh, cities of Kraljevo, Čačak and other cities, Kragujevo in that in that area uh, with uh, with highways and with good infrastructure and of course it will be very good for business. It will be very attractive for uh, investors because uh, uh, our country now uh, is completely, completely uh, connected by the, by, the, by the highways. And of course, uh, we are hope that uh, uh, we, 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 can, uh, we can finish highway uh, to Užice, from Belgrade to Užice, that part from Čačak to Užice in next few years. And I think we will finish, uh, finish very soon. And it is very, very important for, for business. Thank you. Well, it's glad to hear that Serbian is advancing in all fields. I would like to uh, talk about your la latest project, if I'm not mistaken. It's called Congress of Serbian American Friendship. Can you tell me more about the idea behind it and its foundations? Of course. Uh, we, we uh, as a country and uh, as a government, uh, as you know very well in uh, in United States, uh, uh, we made uh, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, things together with our friends from uh, U.S. House of Representatives, Serbian caucus in uh, U.S. House and Senate, uh, people from uh, Department of State, and of course uh, uh, President Trump administration. And uh, I think that uh, uh, we are accelerated our cooperation in last four and five years. As uh, all of us can can show uh, the president of the republic in this in that time for, till 2000, uh, 2018 uh, made a lot of a lot of connections uh, with the representatives of Department of State uh, representatives of White House uh, had a lot of meetings uh, uh, with the former uh, ex uh, administration. Vice President uh, Joe Biden, uh, Secretary Kerry, and uh, other, and uh, in this administration made a very very good relationship with Vice President Mike Pence. Uh, a lot of meetings with uh, Mike Pompeo, of course, special envoy for uh, Belgrade, Pristina dialogue, the Rick Grenell, uh, Matthew Palmer from uh, Department of State, and of course we are very proud about uh, commitment of people. Uh, and friends from U.S. House as uh, Congressman Steve Stivers, Emmanuel Cleaver, former Congressman uh, Ted Poe, uh, about changing the, the, the uh, approach of uh, 
US, uh, US representatives and Senate representatives about Serbia. And first time in last uh, 30 years, uh, we can say that uh, freely that Serbia have more and more friends and more and more people who want to, 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 to understand Serbia, respecting our arguments and uh, uh, looking to the Serbia as an as a equal partner as a partner who wants to make uh, and who wants to be part of solution to have stability in uh, in the region of the western balkan as a country who has a which has a, a strategical aim to became uh, to become uh, uh, to become full member state uh, uh, of uh, european union and uh, which are very very uh, pro western oriented of course uh, we are keeping our uh, positions, and I think that it it was uh, uh, it was really and it is art of diplomacy of president and in this government and our majority in parliament to keep the connection to keep connections with Russian Federation to keep connections with United Arab Emirates uh, with uh, China, and because it is very important for our uh, for our economy. And we have a lot of a lot of project, common project with uh, uh, companies from, example, from uh, uh, from from China. They have about six uh, six billion of uh, of euros investment in infrastructure uh, in this moment in in Serbia, building railway between Belgrade and uh, uh, Budapest. Uh, building uh, highways uh, in in Serbia, and of course, it's very very important to say that uh, when we uh, when when the crisis COVID-19 crisis started uh, in 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 all world, uh, people, experts, and uh, uh, doctors came from China after three days here, group of experts. Uh, and of course, a lot of a lot of equipment, a lot of a lot of uh, humanitarian aid, and uh, supporting Serbia how to dealing with the COVID-19 uh, COVID-19 crisis. Of course, our political aim, main political aim, is uh, to to building and developing cooperation with European Union, to be part of European Union, to be. A uh, really West-oriented uh, country, and wants to, uh, really to 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 accepting uh, standards in all of social uh, life uh, and social fields from European Union uh, standards and United States, of course, standards about uh, free market, about social care, about health care, about human and minority rights, about uh, uh, faith, about uh, uh, religion, of course, but first time in last 30 years serbia is completely oriented to first of all serbian interest because our interest is to be part of european union part of the western world we are belong to the western world but i think that nobody uh, uh, can can forbid us to have good economic cooperation with uh, russian federation to implementing sanctions to the russian federation because uh, we have very good economic cooperation, we have a lot of support, and uh, we have a right to develop as a sovereign uh, country, to develop our connections and relationship with the, with, with the other countries beside the European Union and United States. And of course, we are completely in the line to be part of, uh, part of uh, European Union about Serbian and American uh, Friendship Congress. It, it it was idea of uh, completely different people from uh, government, uh, parliament, from uh, majority and uh, opposition people from uh, public life. Uh, one the, the I, I want to say and uh, mention uh, some of them who are found, founder of uh, our Congress of Serbian American uh, uh, Friendship. Uh, is uh, Ms. Zorana Mihailovic. She is a uh, deputy prime minister and uh, minister for uh, traffic infrastructure and uh, construction. Minister Branko Ružić 
from uh, Socialist Party of Serbia, uh, who is responsible for uh, self-government and uh, uh, public administration. Uh, Member of Parliament Nenad Konstantinovic, uh, uh, who are uh, one of the leader of uh, opposition in our country, uh, people from uh, people from media, uh, of course, with a great support of uh, former amb U.S. ambassador in Serbia, uh, Kyle Scott. He was a great supporter of uh, our Congress, and uh, I am so glad to say that uh, uh, His Excellency Anthony Godfrey. Uh, supporting our ideas and our initiatives very well. We had uh, during the COVID crisis uh, one of one very successful uh, online uh, conference, 16 of April, with him, uh, uh, Congressman Stivers, uh, uh, NDI President Mitchell, people from uh, in, uh, interna uh, International Republican uh, uh, Institute, and uh, friends from uh, USID and US Embassy. And we are in connection uh, on, on daily basis. We have a lot of supporters here, and uh, uh, our idea to founding the Congress uh, is uh, completely show that we have a lot of a lot of people from different political parties, from business community, from non-governmental organization who wants supporting idea to making closer ties between us and in serbia we 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 uh, we have to change uh, public opinion in serbia because uh, uh, people in in this uh, in our country have lack of information uh, about uh, uh, united states companies investments here about working places about the importance of American support of international arena, uh, about military cooperation between uh, uh, Serbia uh, military and, uh, for example, National Guard of uh, Ohio, and uh, how is uh, important to have more and more United States company investments here in Serbia? How is important for ours, uh, for one small country as a Serbia? to have here NCR with more than uh, 3,000 uh, employees here in Serbia, to have Cooper Tires, to have Microsoft here. It is not issue only of uh, working places and uh, investments in millions or billions of dollars. It is the issue of val of, of, about values because American companies transfer values here in Serbia, transfer uh, knowledge, transfer new technologies, transfer uh, everything, it's innovation. It will be very, very supportive for us, for government and citizens of Republic of Serbia to develop very, very dynamic and to have much more successes, especially in political, social and economy life. Of course. I'm glad to hear that this Congress of Serbian-American friendship has such support. So, as I understand, the I guess the Congress launched its first Serbian-American Academy for Leaders on Wednesday, April 15th. So, can you tell me more about this academy, uh, who is involved, what speakers do you have, how it, everything is going to be realized? Of course, uh, it was uh, uh, it was idea to to founding the two centers uh, in uh, in accordance with work of our Congress. Uh, first of all, it is the Center for Education Woodrow Wilson and Center for Transatlantic Studies Ronald Reagan, uh, and uh, we are uh, thinking and discuss a lot about. Uh, uh, of course, I will be very frank uh, that we need much more knowledge in Serbia, especially to our politicians and uh, business people, decision makers, and especially young people about how to understand uh, United States politics, how to understand institutions, how to understand how to dealing uh, uh, with United States and how to be much more closer to uh, such powerful uh, country as a, as a, as a United States. And of course we are uh, find out that uh, we have uh, lack of knowledge because 
a very small uh, number of uh, people from political li life uh, going to the United States and made uh, uh, such uh, 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 such good connections uh, with the represent with people from House of Representatives, uh, people from Senate. State Department, not only for governmental institutions and House and Senate, but very important connections with uh, think tank organization, universities, uh, organizations of diaspora as a Serbian American Leaders Congress. We cannot make some uh, tremendous uh, results with, without you because you are living in in, in United States and know very well and can help us and support us how to dealing better with the representatives of uh, United States uh, politics. And we are find out that uh, especially for our young people, they need uh, much more knowledge about American history, about American constitution, uh, but practicing, uh, but knowledge, uh, concrete and practicing knowledge, not knowledge from uh, from, from only from the books and uh, from from media. And uh, we are made some kind of very, very good and uh, high level capacity of lecturers, some kind of combination, people and friends from United States, from the ground and people from Serbia who knows very well American politics, American uh, business, for example, uh, in the opening ceremony of our uh, leadership, uh, uh, Serbian American Leadership Academy. Uh, we had uh, uh, His Excellency Ambassador Godfrey, His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, uh, Minister Dacic. Uh, we had uh, people from National Democratic Institute, people from International Republican uh, Institute, uh, people, uh, S Serbian people from Washington uh, DC as a uh, Vlajko Senić, uh, uh, one of the co-owners of the Ambar restaurant uh, in Washington, uh, D.C., uh, Mr. Mihailo Subotic, who are running the business in, uh, in, in, in D.C., in uh, Maryland and uh, Virginia, almost uh, ten, uh, 10 years. And of course, it is the, uh, it is the main name of, uh, of our academy to transfer uh, very concrete knowledge and to prepare that kind of people because we have tremendous candidates and student, students. Uh, all of them are the uh, students of uh, master uh, master study uh, in the faculty of organizational sciences, uh, faculty of uh, political sciences, economy faculty, uh, law faculty, and uh, they want to know and uh, they they. Uh, they are hungry about knowledge about United States because that young people will be in tomorrow in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They will be in the Parliament, and we need much and uh, much more people who knows to dealing with United States. And first of all, to know and to recognize importance of keeping. Uh, and, and working on strategical partnership between uh, Serbia and the United States, how it is important uh, for, for Serbia. And of course, I, I would like to thank to, to our friends from National Democratic Institute and uh, International Republican Institute both for supporting us and supporting our idea to, to, uh, to have and to implementing uh, the idea about academy. And, uh, uh, and, and in the end, just to, to, to let you know that, uh, uh, of course, we are planning be, uh, before the COVID-19 uh, crisis to have uh, traditional lecturers. Uh, and in, in, in some moment, we are decide to work online, not to lose time. And of course, uh, we are very satisfied. We have uh, a lot of a lot of interesting of young people here about academy, about uh, uh, to take uh, new knowledge about uh, about United States. Thank you. It's glad to hear that, that the project is very successful. As I understand, this round of sessions is going to end soon. So I, I guess I encourage all of our viewers to look for new project of the Congress of Serbian American Friendship online and they can, I guess, find out everything about it. So I would wish to switch to the most um, 
troubling topic that we have to deal with right now. It's the pandemic of COVID-19 virus. Can you please tell us briefly uh, how is Serbia handling the situation and, and what, what steps is the government taking? First, uh, first of all, I would like to tell you that uh, we are saved uh, completely our healthcare uh, system here and uh, our uh, healthcare capacities, our hospitals, and of course, uh, most important thing, our uh, healthcare and medicine uh, workers. They are really uh, heroes uh, during this time uh, of pandemic uh, COVID-19 crisis. I cannot, uh, I cannot explain you uh, about efforts of that people and uh, uh, about their heroism and uh, invested a lot, invested their lives and then their families to saving the lives and to saving uh, the, the, the healthcare system in the Republic of Serbia. I think that uh, it's very important uh, that government of Republic of Serbia and uh, President uh, Vucic uh, reacted uh, very fast and uh, in accordance with that we are save our healthcare system and uh, after the few days uh, about our uh, healthcare uh, measures and uh, state of emergency uh, here they uh, they started to dealing with about about economy uh, measures and uh, started to promoting and providing uh, support help and loans for especially micro small and medium enterprises domestic enterprises in serbia in accordance to save the working places and to prepare for the day after the COVID-19 uh, crisis. Because we need to starting very soon in the full capacity to producing, to exporting our goods. Of course, uh, it is not, uh, everything is not uh, under the, 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 the Serbian circumstances and, and in conditions because we are very uh, connected with the European Union economies, especially Italy, France, uh, Germany. And uh, we are hope that they will have a, a very, very fast recovery because we are, we have, a, for example, uh, about 70% of our trade, of our export is, is uh, and import is uh, with, with European Union, uh, European Union countries, of course. We are hope that the United States of America will be recover very well, starting dynamically to 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 back on the, on the and, and, and set uh, set up uh, uh, on on uh, few months ago uh, position. And we are hope that President Trump and uh, uh, White House task force will overcome this situation, rising uh, economy because we are follow situation of course in the United States. And I think that. Uh, United States will keep the uh, working places and uh, starting again uh, with, uh, with with rising uh, economy and uh, and business in United States because it's not uh, only important for United States and American people it's important for uh, all around the world and of course uh, uh, we are very interesting to have uh, soon uh, much more uh, American invest investments here uh, for today uh, we have uh, this kind of situation. Uh, we have uh, 10,600 uh, infected and uh, 197 uh, died. That uh, we are three weeks and one month ago started to testing our people more and more, and uh, it is. Uh, uh, it is about, uh, I think, 100 uh, to 130,000 uh, tested people. We are very thankful to United States of America because they are uh, American government sent us uh, 6,000 uh, tests and uh, gave us 1.3 uh, uh, million of uh, dollars as a, as a as a support during COVID. Uh, 19 crisis 
And of course, we are tried as a, as a small country, but as a good uh, partner of United States to help and to support and to be very supportive to American people and U.S. administration. And uh, we are back by the Air Serbia Airlines, more than uh, 200 uh, uh, American citizens to the United States. And as you know, uh, three weeks ago, Secretary Pompeo uh, write, wrote the, the, the letter to President Vucic and uh, expressed very, very, uh, and was very thankful to, to him and to Republic of Serbia about our efforts uh, uh, during the, the, the time of crisis as a small country, uh, but a country who wants to support it, who wants to help to uh, uh, find uh, find the strength and to, to, to help to the, the others. We made uh, the same to Italy 10 days ago, sent uh, equipment to our Italian uh, friends and partners. And of course, I think that we are uh, show the uh, seriousness in this situation, but uh, we are showed, first of all, capacity to uh, overcome this very, very huge crisis, but ourselves uh, and uh, with ourselves capacities here. So our human resource here, our people here, our government here, uh, because as you know, Unfortunately, uh, in some uh, uh, past, uh, past time, it was not uh, the situation because Serbia always was dependent from, from somebody in some, some country. Now we have very st stable budget. Now we have uh, capacities in, uh, uh, in our budget. And of course, the, the most important thing, capacities in human resources, to overcome this situation, and I think that it's it's going it's going very well. I'm glad to hear that. I think I speak for all when I say that we extend our prayers and support for all the citizens of Serbia, especially healthcare workers and first responders. As long as you mentioned the economic situation, I was wondering since Serbia had a growth in February. And if I'm not mistaken, it's six point two percent. Do you and then this coronavirus, I guess, COVID nineteen pandemic came. Do you expect that Serbia to jump into that growth and that progress after this all is uh, over? Uh, situation in these days uh, uh, is uh, much much better in Serbia, of course, than in region in. Uh, the, the most of uh, European Union countries. Uh, the, some uh, predictions from the World Bank is uh, that we will have about 0% of uh, uh, GDP growth, for example, uh, and for comparing uh, Croatia will have, uh, will have uh, minus 9, uh, Italy minus 11, Macedonia, Northern Macedonia minus 5. Uh, Serbia, it will be about zero, and some predictions of World Bank is to for Serbia for 2020 first uh, that it will be seven percent of uh, GDP GDP growth. For example, uh, because uh, I want to to to, to speak uh, uh, I want to speak uh, with the numbers and with the facts. Uh, we have. Uh, during this uh, two months crisis in Serbia, something about 5,000 people who, uh, who are losing their, their job. It's uh, not such a, a huge number, and it is very, very important that we are keeping capacities here, especially from very big foreign direct investors, to be here in Serbia and to planning to continuing manufacturing and producing uh, here in Serbia and to keep, uh, um, uh, to keep uh, uh, workers on their working places. Of course, uh, we made an intervention about uh, uh, loans for small, micro and medium enterprises. Uh, we, are, uh, we, we are invested 5.1 billion of uh, euros. Uh, especially for the small, medium and micro uh, enterprises who are uh, 
have very, very negative, had a uh, much more negative consequences during this crisis. Hotels, restaurants, service uh, uh, industry, and uh, we uh, gave him uh, three months to make a plans to, to do for, for recovering them, to keep the uh, workers on their companies, and in these three months to prepare to continuing their uh, uh, business in, in Serbia. And of course, it's very, very uh, important thing that we are sent a uh, very serious signal to our very important partners from European Union uh, to United States and the other countries that we can manage with the crisis and that we are keep the essence, the fundamental of our economy, that our economy is not weak. And uh, uh, for example, in, uh, in Israel, uh, they have now 21% of uh, unemployment uh, rate. In some other countries who are uh, times and times uh, stronger, have stronger economy uh, than, uh, than, than Serbia. But uh, combination of good measures and uh, uh, very, very uh, good implemented economy reforms during last uh, uh, five or six years and our very strong budget make a result that we can for our uh, we can uh, alone overcome the crisis keeping the working places in preparing for uh, continuing uh, investments and uh, work in the in the period after covid-19 uh, 1919 crisis of course. Uh, on that note, how do you, I mean, uh, you touched upon this a few times in the interview, but how do you see the future of Serbian-American relations? Uh, I think that uh, we have to, to think uh, very intensively about uh, reaching such some kind of strategical partnership between uh, uh, United States and Serbia. Of course, uh, I think that... Uh, the, the initiative uh, will be started from the Serbia as a small country, as a country who uh, needs to, 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 to show, to express to, to such a big partner as, as the United States our goodwill, uh, our, uh, uh, our capacity to be, uh, to, to, to be ally in this part of Europe as uh, 100 years uh, ago as uh, during the First World War, during the Second World War, we have very good experience, of course, you know better than me, of, uh, of our friendship, cooperation, uh, and uh, of course, we have some uh, very, very bad things during, uh, in the end of uh, 20th uh, century. But we have to, uh, together, uh, looking in the, in the future and thinking about how to back on the uh, situation from our uh, partnership and cooperation 100 years ago. We have tradition of our cooperation. We have common history. We have common, uh, common tradition, common values, uh, common religion, for, uh, for example. But unfortunately, during 1990s and in the beginning of uh, 2000 to 2010, 12, we are losing a lot of opportunities and uh, take opportunity for uh, some other nations to be much more better positioning uh, and dealing with United States that we as a as a country in this part, this this region, uh, which had uh, great connections, great history and tradition and in sharing the, the, the same values uh, with United States. And of course, as, as you can see, we are changing our politics. Now we want as a government, as a majority in the parliament, uh, we are care about that to, to have, that it is not enough to have two or three or five friends in the US House of Representatives from Serbian caucus. I am sure I am traveling uh, a lot of times in the United States that we have opportunity to, to dozens 
of uh, Congress people, people uh, from Senate, uh, who, who wants to who wants to deal with uh, uh, Serbia and respecting uh, Serbia. But we are want to be uh, we are uh, have to be active to be much more aggressive. Uh, for example, my my opinion is that someone from the Parliament of Serbia. Uh, government of Serbia, presidency of Serbia wants to be every week in in Washington, uh, Washington D.C. You as a as a, as an organi organization, uh, a valuable organization in our diaspora, we we have to be uh, in 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 touch on daily basis, because we have the the, the same aim to position Serbia much more better in United States. We are losing the game. During 1990s and during uh, uh, such kind of democratic uh, uh, regime in Serbia, 2000, 2012, we are losing uh, losing a lot of a lot of opportunities. I want to uh, I want to tell you about uh, the par excellence important uh, uh, problem of Kosovo and Metohija, because we are uh, disagree with United States and. Uh, uh, major part of European Union uh, about that, but uh, you know and we know very well that five or six or th four years ago, uh, issue of Kosovo and Metohija was issue of third level uh, staffers in U.S. House and U.S. Senate and Department of State. Now we have a uh, two special envoys. We have Rick Grenell. We have Matthew uh, Matthew Palmer. Uh, United States administration uh, uh, looking in the Serbia as a part of, of solution and recognize uh, legitimate interest of Republic of Serbia in Kosovo, in Metohija. Of course, we have to use opportunity because uh, this administration uh, knows and have much more sensitiveness about uh, jeopardizing Christianity, church, Christian people now in 21st century in Kosovo and Metohija, jeopardizing by uh, uh, Kos Kosovo uh, security forces from special forces of uh, Kosovo Albanians in the, 20, in the 21st uh, century. The uh, former administration didn't have any, any sensitiveness uh, sensitiveness about, about about us, and of course, I think that president and uh, people from government and we as uh, parliamentarians use all opportunity to 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 consider uh, U.S. administration and people in uh, U.S. House and uh, and Senate that Serbia has legitimate interest in uh, Kosovo and Metohija, and that it's our obligation. To protecting Serbian people, Serbian church, our religion, and our uh, faith as a historical, traditional background and heart of uh, of uh, Serbian nation and Serbian Serbian country. Of course, it appears that we're coming close to an end. But just for for that, I want to ask one more question: uh, What can organization like ours, Serbian American Leadership Conference, do to help these relations and do to help our brothers and sisters in Serbia, and what kind of advice would you give to young Serbian Americans and all Serbs around the globe? First of all, uh, we need to 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 spread the communication in the, and cooperation between especially decision makers uh, from Serbia, politicians, business people, non-governmental organization with organization as a Serbian American Leadership Congress with the people as, uh, for example, Mr. David Vujic, who invested a lot of a lot of energy uh, to, to making closer ties between Serbia and the United States. Uh, and uh, uh, we have to have uh, cooperation and uh, on on daily basis because we have uh, we are the one nation and uh, uh, interest of uh, serbs in uh, uh, united states are common with serbs in uh, republic of serbia and republic of serbska in uh, croatia in macedonia we 
have to work together. We are a small nation and small country, and we have to uh, work together to promote our interests, to promote our people in United States, uh, who will be very, very available as uh, Alex, as a you, Nevin, as a, a lot of a lot of uh, young young people who uh, have. It's very important uh, a lot of energy for to invest for common common aim. Uh, but that kind of common aim is a Serbian Serbian interest. I think that first time in the uh, last 30, 40, 50 years, we are thinking and discuss about Serbia first. As uh, David Vujic said a lot of times, we have to, 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 to think about Serbian interest world first. Of course, we uh, have to balance our uh, uh, foreign policy, but... Uh, now, these days, uh, in compare with five or six or ten years ago, it's not shame to, for, from us, politicians from Serbia, that Republic of Srpska is the uh, best interest of uh, our country. It's not shame to have common uh, governmental and parliamentary sessions between Republic of Srpska and Serbia. We are expecting the uh, sovereignty and integrity of Bosnia and Herzegovina. But we are like our people. We are like Republic of Srpska and we want to invest in Republic of Srpska, not to not only to, to, to tell the words. President Vucic opened a few months ago a uh, factory, one Serbian factory in the uh, in city of Drvar. Uh, uh, our uh, telecommunications company is owner of Republic of Srpska telecommunication company. We want to uh, uh, support Republic of Srpska and our people uh, through the investments, to the building and strengthening uh, uh, economy, uh, trade, to encourage them in econom economical way. Because if they are economy strong, they will have... Uh, uh, they will not have a lot of problems with the uh, with with the people and the politicians uh, from from feder uh, from federation. And uh, of course, uh, I want to to mention that uh, we are very thankful thankful to President Vucic that uh, uh, three or four years ago we are started to uh, started. It, it is not shame to uh, have uh, days as a. And to 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 remark the days as a uh, Oluya, uh, as a Blesak uh, from the Croatian action in uh, Republic of Srpska Krajina and expelling uh, uh, 250,000 people from Republic of uh, Srpska, they are celebrate. They are celebrate uh, European Union uh, member country celebrate day that they are expelling 250,000 own citizens. Of course, we have a right. First, first time in last 25 years, Serbia showed the old world that we have a right to be said and to say to all of the world that we, we cannot, uh, we cannot for, for, forget. And of course, we cannot uh, going into the conflict with uh, such a powerful countries as the United States uh, as in that time uh, during 1990s. Because of that, we need much more coordination between us to strengthening our country in an economy way, to attracting new investment, to even science, uh, innovation in our educational uh, uh, system, to working with you. Because I think that I'm sure that someone from you will be in US US house in the next two, three, five, five years. We we need that because it will be better for us because we are allowed from some other nations to make a lot, a lot of advances than us here because we are not active, we are not recognized uh, about importance. How is important to dealing with United uh, United States? And for the end, the real example for uh, politics or active 
aggressive politics of promoting uh, national interest, economy's interest, is a derecognizing campaign of so-called Kosovo. Uh, I, I will be very frank and tell to you and to, to friends from Serbian American Leadership Congress and people from our diaspora in the United States that uh, uh, one, one and a half years ago, we have more than, more than 110 uh, countries that recognize so-called uh, so Kosovo. In last one point half years, we are implementing campaign, 18, 18 countries uh, suspended or they recognize so-called so Kosovo. We are sure that we can, but we have to be more active. We have to dealing with the, all countries in the world. And first of all, to be committed to implementing First of all, Serbian interest. We are respecting United States, we are respecting Bosnia and Herzegovina, Northern Macedonia, but first of all, you have to respect, respect Serbia and implementing first of all, and always discuss about what is the first interest uh, of Serbia. I am guaranteed to you that uh, from 2008 till 2012, more than between 40 or 50 countries in the world recognize so-called Kosovo because we were not active, we are not working with that countries, we are not traveling to that countries, especially because in that group of countries, we have a lot of, lot of countries who are traditionally connect, uh, was connected uh, uh, with, uh, with, with Serbia. But some people who, who uh, leading the, and, and ruling the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, uh, just to explain very simply, I, I, I think that uh, didn't have uh, some kind of vision, or they, they think that it's gone. But we are, we are thinking that it's not gone. We are thinking that we have to fight uh, for, for, for our country, for our people to ensure security and to working with our friends of uh, equal uh, in equal level to to and speak and discuss how to first of all and we are completely supporting uh, Rick Grenell about his doctrine and strategy economy first especially in accordance with the uh, with the cooperation uh, with with the Kosovo Albanians they are there we are very interesting to uh, to 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 work with with them to strengthen the economy, not to to speak about status about some things that it's a uh, it's illusion, without normalizing uh, relationship in economy, uh, 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 ensuring the free flow of uh, of uh, of people and uh, financing and uh, goods and services. We cannot speak about status and about <laughs> about uh, issues uh, and uh, who, uh, who, uh, whoever to tell tell to you that Serbia will uh, recognize uh, uh, Kosovo as an independent country. It's uh, it's 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 not it's not serious. And uh, we are satisfied about uh, cooperation. We are. Uh, we are very interesting in uh, in comprom compromise. We are very interested in long uh, long time uh, solution and sustainable solution. But uh, of course, first of all, uh, uh, it will be it will be a process. We are part of solution. We are not part of the problem. We are part of solution. We will be very committed. We need in Serbia stability in region. We are not interesting to have uh, to, to have they have instability in in Kosovo and Metohija uh, now. They have a lot of clashes, as you know, between political parties, between constitutional court about uh, forming uh, a new government. We are not don't inter interesting in that. We are interesting in stability that because it is interesting of Republic of Serbia because we need stability because we need to have. Uh, six or seven or eight percent of uh, uh, GDP growth. 
Regrenel told uh, uh, Kosovars uh, a few months ago, look guys, you cannot uh, reckon on uh, any investment, any development of uh, your uh, of, of, of Kosovo and Metohija if you don't have stability and goodwill to have a minimum cooperation uh, with uh, Serbia and other countries, uh, other countries in the region. And I will, I will tell you again, we are completely supportive to his idea, and his approach, economy first, and after that we can we can talk about possible, possible solutions. Well, it appears we ran out of time. Uh, I just want to thank you, Dr. Marinkovic, very much for joining us today. And it was a pleasure talking to you. I hope that sometime in the future we will speak again soon. Uh, I, ju I will just briefly announce our two next fireside chats. Uh, the next one is on May 11, 2020, with His Excellency Boyan Vujic, Ambassador of Bosnia and Herzegovina for the U.S. And after that, we have a uh, chat on May 18th with uh, Mr. Vuk Remić and Dr. Sandra Rašković Ivić. Thank you everyone for, for this opportunity and I just want to thank our viewers for being with us today here.